we're back. Welcome back. Um, hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you enjoyed the break. Um, thinking the midterm probably wasn't too difficult. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, we're going to be talking about African cinema today and specifically getting into the work of Usman Sembene. And um, I kind of want to start off by one of those stunts that you see um, where you kind of, where people, they're very bad faith where people um, are approached on the street and then, you know, they're kind of, let's say, um, lack of knowledge of certain things or kind of, you know, sort of, sort of um, aired in public on the internet, you know, for, uh, uh, at the expense of those people. And the question was specifically, is, uh, is Australia um, a continent or a country? Um, and the reason that I bring that up is that, that you know, going to Sembene specifically and going to Africa does kind of raise this sort of, um, you know, this sort of um, really complicated history of, of Africa, of course, and, and the legacy, especially for us here in the United States. But also um, in terms of thinking about, you know, the question of international cinema. Um, after all, this, this course is um, uh, uh, on international cinema after, after World War II. So, you know, we're talking about inter-nation. But in the case of, you know, Africa, we are talking about a continent, right? And the continent of Africa doesn't operate in the same way that the continent of Europe, certainly, right, um, uh, operates. Um, and, and especially in terms of, you know, ultimately a lot of the stuff that we're talking about, we, we kind of still go in a way where you know, context, nation, continent even, becomes kind of synonymous with a single individual. So again, this kind of question that we've been talking about throughout, you know, um, the semester, but the issue of not only like canon, right, um, but also representation and history and historiography. Right. So, and, and what I mean in this case is that, like, you know, there's a way in which um, the sort of standard um, uh, manner in teaching something like international cinema would be, you know, um, African cinema, Sembene, um, French New Wave, Truffaut. Um, and uh, as I've talked about before, you know, we're doing this precisely in that kind of um, uh, standard way. So, so as a starting point, but also, you know, just I want you to keep in mind, especially this week, that that doesn't mean that this is necessarily, um, that it's being forwarded as the correct way or the right way to think about cinema, but the standard way so that we can understand it and then we can kind of uh, move from there, which is, again, just, you know, to, to keep in mind what the spirit of all this is about is to be critical, but also to be suspicious, and those two things are kind of... Um, you know, really sort of tied together. But, you know, one of the major things, one of the major reasons that, that uh, you know, to think about African cinema um, and, to, and, to, and to think about Sembene is that it allows us the opportunity to really think about that kind of complicated history, that difficult history, um, and especially the legacy of colonialism. And so what um, generally is understood to be kind of the, the major um, sort of interest in, in, in African cinema is, is a two-pronged two kind of approach of post-colonialism um, and feminism. The primary re regions um, uh, where, where kind of um, the sort of representative cinema comes out of is Nigeria, um, Senegal, and the Lusophone uh, countries as well, um, and with additional regions as we've already kind of touched on, Algeria, uh, West Africa, and um, the Sahel. Um, and so just, just before we kind of get, like, go into, really go into it, um, I just want to give you, like, a very brief sort of um, uh, um, uh, overview, like, very brief of, of African cinema. And, and, I'll, I, and I can upload a reading um, to give you kind of more of a, 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 a better uh, primer. But the, the thing to keep in mind is that... Um, you know, cinema 
like African cinema in the way that we talk about it is generally thought about as something that comes in about like around 19, like the 1950s, like the middle of the 20th century, which like primarily locates it again, like in, in the period that, that the course is talking about. Of course, the caveat, right, is that that does not mean that there wasn't African cinema in the 20th century. Um, in fact, there absolutely was, you know, it was, it was being produced um, mostly in, you know, Europe and the U.S. and then and then being distributed in Africa and watched there. So when we talk about African cinema, we're not necessarily talking about um, the consumption of, of cinema, but, but you know, like we're, when we're talking about the, pr the production specifically of post-independence, of decolonization, and that's happening really after, um, oh, and, and, and just to be, just again, like, and, there was cinema being produced, um, for sure, in Africa as well, but, but this is, um, c you know, cinema that's being produced um, uh, uh, in, in an industry that replicated the kind of power structures of colonialism, right? So, so that's, a, that's the kind of market difference that historians and historiographers are kind of like really emphasizing is that um, they're thinking about when, when um, you know, basically um, the people of these countries were making the films themselves, you know, through the process of decolonization. So, so cinema was exhibited in especially South Africa with limited distribution by the 1930s and 40s. So it's one of the things that you'll you'll very quickly learn. Again, like, you know, for the most part, just try and be very careful of um, uh, how do I put it? You know, these kind of um, assumptions that that one might have about history. So one of the things that you'll learn very quickly about learning film history is that. Um, you know, we talk, we, we kind of take for granted, it's like, oh, the internet distributes everything so quickly and everyone has so, you know, such great access, which one for is not true, but two, it's like you'd be surprised to find it how quickly cinema moved throughout the world um, in the early 20th century, and, and Africa, of course, was, was, was no exception. Um, prospers by the 50s, um, despite colonial control, and then finally decolonization. But what we find in Africa, of course, and especially for influential cinema filmmakers like someone like Sam Bene, um, is the importance of popular cinema and um, you know European and American cinema, uh, specifically the, the the genres of westerns and crimes, did really well. Now, for me, one of the kind of main interests and in, and in, and in, you know it, it's probably not a coincidence that I that, that I, I find Sam Bene to be an interesting filmmaker, of course, is the Strange Bedfellows. That um, the Russian socialist realism, so you know, um, the Soviet cinema that 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 you and I would find, or that, that you and I would like, you know, have have learned in a kind of film history class, one that would go, you know, the very ones that that, that go before this one, um, was of great interest to 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 African cinema and filmmakers like Saint Bene, and so that would be one of the main questions that for those of you who have watched, um, whether it's Eisenstein or or um, Vertov. Um, in previous classes or outside of class, um, and if you haven't, you should, of course. But that would be the question that I would want you to think about: is why would those filmmakers be interested in Sembene, right, um, or for Sembene, right? Um, and and you know, again, like that's a kind of interesting sort of geographical sort of um, kind of link up between Soviet Russia and 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 and, and Senegal, but Africa as well, right? Um, and, and I think partially, and because we were supposed to do third cinema before this, but thinking about, right, the cinema of decolonization um, and, and what that means and, and, and what that's a struggle for and against. Okay, so that's our little primer on African cinema. Let's go ahead and... Um,